What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, back doing some ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before this video starts, you guys know the deal. Show some support by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So guys, in today's video, we're actually rocking out with this team right here and trying to push Master Ball tier. Considering we are only like two or three wins out of Master Ball tier, we are right there in Ultra Ball tier. So it's hype, it's hype. I'm hoping we can hit it today with this team. Just look at this team for a second. It's just so eye appealing. Like, dude, I saw this team and I had to make it. This team looks amazing. It just looks amazing with the Rapidash and the Noivern and the Mamoswine. Just all those Pokemon, they just fit so well together. But this team was actually helped build with me and my boy Adrian. Link to all of his socials will be in the description below. Definitely go check him out, dude. He helped me build this team and it is awesome, dude. I'm actually a big fan of just the way it looks and the Pokemon that are used in this team. Rocking in that front spot, we have this Rapid Dash with Life Orb right here. I'm actually hyped to use it because it can set up with Sword Stance, has Zen Headbutt, Play Rough, and Low Kick to do some damage. Low Kick is actually used for a coverage move, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful with this setup right here. Then we got my boy Gengar. We've been using him a lot. Like I said, he's been getting the playtime in the Season 2 here. Rocking Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Wave, Shadow Ball, and Trick. He's rocking Chewy Scarf so we can actually lead Pokemon in the Trick. So say if he leads like a Toxic Spec and we know he's going for a Baneful Bunker, we can trick him into a Chewy Scarf and just swamp him out for the rest of the match. That'd be game over for him. These Chewy Scarfs into a Baneful Bunker, but that's beautiful. I love Gengar. Then we got my boy Noivern here. Noivern is just such a cool Pokemon. One of the reasons why I picked building this team. Rocking Infiltrator to hit through the protection and all that. And rocking the Heavy Duty Boots so like... Stealth Rocks and all that does not affect them. He's talking Hurricane, Flamethrower, Draco Meteor, and Defog. Such a versatile moveset, but I just love that moveset on him. It looks awesome. Looks awesome. Great special attacker. Then we got my Thick Boy with Thick Fat Mammo Swine right here. Rocking the Focus Sash with EQ, Ice Shard, Stealth Rocks to set up, and Rock Blast here. Then we got this Inteleon. I love this Inteleon set. Like, I used it a couple times before. It's rocking the Light Clay with the Reflecting Light Screen. You turn and Scald. I just love it. He's just a great Pokemon to start setting up screens and all that and get rolling into the match. Then we got my boy Surfetch, which is Choice Band right here with Close Combat, Knock Off to Knock Off the Items, First Impression, and Brave Bird. But, guys, just... Just look at this team. This team looks awesome. I would love for this to be the team that pushes me into Master Ball. If you guys would like to use this team for yourself, I made you guys a rental code right at the bottom of the screen. Definitely check it out. Try it out. Use it. Let me know how it works out for you. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. And also, let me know for question of the day whether you guys did or did not like the Pokemon Direct for yesterday. Because I absolutely loved it. I love the two new DLCs that are coming. They seem amazing. I cannot wait for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. We're going to be playing it on this channel. And what else did they announce? Oh, the 200 new Pokemon coming to the game. Like, bro, there's like Garchomp and all that. Like, competitive play is going to be better than ever. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for it. But, guys, without further ado, let's go get Master Ball tier. Let's go, guys. Let's push Master Ball tier in this video. I would love to do it. I definitely would love to do it. We are so close. This guy's rocking out with a Dragapult, Quivernight, Gyarados, Exidral, Mimikyu, and an Octozole. Um, I don't think he's going to be leading that Octozole. I can see him leading that... Uh, Gyarados? I totally see him leading that Gyarados. We're going to lead our Inteleon here. Try to set up some screens. Moving Rapidash in the back. Rapidash Noivern? Rapidash Noivern looks like it can do some work. It does look like it can do some work. If we can set up a Sword Stance with a Rapidash, I think he can run this team. It doesn't have too much to actually take us out. So we're going to do that. We're going to go Inteleon in the front spot. Try and set up the screens. Rapidash with that Life Orb in the back. And the Heavy Duty boot Boots Noivern in the back end here, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. I like, I like it. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We have our physical attacker in our Rapidash and our special attacker in our Noivern here, which is great, which is great. So we have, what are we rocking out here? We're rocking with two uh, physical attackers with Rapidash and the uh, Surfetch, and then two special attackers with the Gengar and the, uh, what's it called? The Gengar and the Noivern, which is beautiful, which is beautiful. And then we get the screen set up. That kind of, like, neglects a lot of the defensive problems that on this team. That's why we have the screens. But guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, make sure you hit the link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch, we stream 4 plus days every single week. Also, if I'm live, come hang out, chat it up. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. Okay, he's going to go into his Dragon Ball here. Um, do we think it's a physical attack in Dragon Ball? I kind of do think it's a physical attack in Dragon Ball. And considering most of his team is physical attack, and we're going to set up a Reflect right off the bat. Maybe he might swap out. That would be dope if he swaps out here. He's going to go for a U-turn. That's fine. Who's he going to go into? The Octo Zolt? I can see him going into the Zolt here. He gets a crit. Are you serious? He gets a crit right off the bat. And we're going to be setting be able to set up this reflect here and then i believe we will outspeed the zolt when it comes out i can see the zolt coming out if he brought on it let's see nope the mims comes out i still think we are uh, outspeed here and we can take off his uh little disguise and then go into our boy here then we can go into our boy the what's it called the ch -ch 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 -ch. the rapidash okay we're gonna go for a do we go for the beam 
Yeah, we're gonna go for the beam. Try to get the freeze on. That would be beautiful if we can get the freeze. Do we outspeed this thing? Show me we outspeed it. Do outspeed it. This team's EVs are set up very well. Very fast team right here. Most of its EVs have it down in the speed category and then into whatever attack it is. So I really do like this team. This team is very fast. This guy goes busted and he's gonna roll out into a sword stance here. Um, what do we do from here? I don't really think this thing's that speedy. I see we just go into another ice beam. I can see potentially Dynamax in here. Or do we set up a light screen before we bounce? Um, let's just go into an ice beam. I'm just gonna roll into an ice beam here, try to get the freeze. Because I see my Rapid Dash outspeeding this thing. He goes for a Shadow Sneak. Can we eat this up? We do eat that up. Beautiful. He's gonna go for another Shadow Sneak after this. I see my Rapid Dash outspeeding it. So I feel like my Rapid Dash could just take it out. Say night night to it. Show me the freeze. No, no freeze. He's gonna go for another Shadow Sneak here. Which is fine, which is fine by me. We're just gonna rock into another ice beam. Say bye bye to that Inteleon. That's fine by me. Shadow Sneaks pop out here. And did we go into the Noivern instead? We could save our Rapid Dash in the back. Because my Noivern will outspeed and take it out with a Hurricane or a Flamethrower or something. Then he could potentially go back into that uh, Dragapult. This is what I'm gonna do. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Dynamax the Noivern here. I am gonna Dynamax the Noivern here. And we're gonna go straight for a max airstream. Because if we can boost our speed here, and he pulls out that Dragon Bolt, we can outspeed and take out that Dragon Bolt one hit. If not, we still have a Rapid Dash in the back end, so I'm definitely going to Dynamax here and start boosting our speed early on. Because I don't want him to bring in that Dragon Bolt and just swamp on me and just take out my Noivern. Like, we're chilling, we're chilling. I'm liking where we're sitting here, I really do. So let's see what he does, let's see what he does. Because like I said, if we can boost our speed up, we can just Dynamax out, go into a Max Warm Wind, and take out Dragon Bolt in one hit if we can outspeed. Because Noivern's a pretty speedy Pokemon. Especially with plus one speed and his EV stats all in that speed category. You love to see it. You love to see it. He does outspeed us with the Shadow Sneak. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We'll take the damage up. Life Orb's gonna pop out here. We're gonna go for a max airstream here. Booster speed up plus one. But we kind of just did work there. We kind of did work. We set up a nice reflect, which was beautiful. We still probably have that for another four or five turns here. And then, what's it called? And then we have a Noivern plus one on the speed category. So I'm liking where we're sitting. I really do like where we're sitting. We have a Life Orb in the back, a Life Orb Rapid Dash, which is huge. Such a good Pokemon there. And he's gonna go into the Octo Soul. Ooh -hoo -hoo. We're sitting pretty here. We're sitting pretty here, boys. We should be able to outspeed, take it out one shot. I can see it potentially Dynamaxing. He is gonna Dynamax here because he has a Dragon Pole and that. And he has not seen my Rapid Dash in the back end, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. So we should outspeed and we should be able to soak up a hit. Unless this thing is uh Special attacking, which I could see it being special attacking. But hopefully we can just one tap it up. I can definitely see us being able to one tap it up. Let's go, Noe Vern. Let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see what you got. Max Wormwind pops off here. Let's go. Take it out. Drop that thing. Drop him. Ooh. So close. We're gonna go into a max worm win here. I mean not, not a max worm win here. We're gonna drop his attack stat too, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. He's gonna go for a max worm. We should be able to eat it up. We should be able to eat this up. We do, beautiful. Dude. That, that reflect and that attack drop comes out. And now we're gonna go into a max airstream here to boost our speed one more time in order to help us outspeed that uh what's it called? Oh no, will this take it out? I gotta play it safe. I gotta play it safe. I gotta go into a max worm win. I have to. It's a fact. It's a fact, yeah. We have to go into the max worm win and at least take this thing out. We cannot have this thing alive any longer here. Because if I went into a max airstream and did not kill it, he would just take us out and have a dynamax turn against my rapid dash. So Nah, we, we can't we can't take the risk factor there. We cannot take the risk factor there. And now we're just gonna try to punk out into a Draco Meteor and finish off this battle. We have a Rapid Dash in the back, dude. Let's go. Let's go, dude. This team is so fast. It's just so fast. It's so beautiful. So if we get this Meteor off, we can be chilling. We can be chilling. He doesn't even know we have the, the Rapid Dash in the back. But let's go. Here we go. Rocket into this final Draco Meteor. Is he gonna bounce Boogie Skidoodle? We do outspeed with that plus one speed. Beautiful. That should be game. Unless this thing is sashed. See you later. See you later, punk. Let's go. Let's go, dude. On our way to Master Ball. Let's get it. That is how you rock out with this team. Didn't even get to show off that uh, Rapid Dash, but still. But still, dude. This Noivern rocked out. And we had a Rapid Dash in the back, which would have showed off if we needed to use it. Okay, so this guy's rocking a Glaceon, Hippaladon, Rotom, Fire, Pizza Oven, Quiver Knight, Lantern, and a Gyarados. He is half special attacking, half physical attacking here. So, what does work? What will do work? Does my Rapid Dash come in here? I don't know. My Rapid Dash is kind of neutral against a lot of it. So Rapid Dash could be a great call here. It's very neutral against a lot of this. So I think my Rapid Dash is going to bounce in this back end. Um, who else are we going to rock out here? Kind of scared for that Lantern. 
I, I can see him definitely maybe leading that Lantern or that Rotom. So is my Inteleon really a good call? I think we might definitely want to get out that Inteleon. So I might lead it and I might go back into my Noivern, dude. Noivern does work. He has no Dragon type. He has that Ice type. That's the problem. He has that Ice type, but we are fire. We are fire with it. So we're definitely going to be bringing in. I think we're going to be bringing in the same squad here. Or do we bring Surfetch instead of the uh, Abash? No, I really like this. Or do we go Mammoth Swine instead of the Inteleon? Instead of Rocks. We could set up rocks here. Hmm. Now, I think we're just going to chill out here. Try to set up the screens once again and try to get this win on this battle here. Mammoth Swine is great, but I would rather get up the screens. I would totally rather get up the screens. I can see him potentially uh, leading Electric Pokemon, either the Rotom or the Lantern. Because he probably sees me going to play Teleon like Clay. But I might just set up a light screen. We should be able to outspeed whatever Pokemon he throws out here with my Teleon. Let's see, the Corviknight pops in front spot. Um, I'm totally fine by it. I'm totally fine by it. We're going to set up a Reflect here. We are going to set up a Reflect. He's probably going to go for an Iron Defense, but I really don't care. We are a special attacking Pokemon, so we're going to get off this Reflect here and see what he does. He might try to set up a Tailwind. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Let's see. I think Corviknight was just his safe Pokemon, his safe play. He's just like, okay, let me go into my Corviknight, see what this guy's uh, going into. But we do have a Noivern in the back with that Flamethrower, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Noivern rocks out. Definitely rocks out here. Dude, Noivern showed off last game. I made, I went to a smart play by Dynamax and early on with that Noivern to get that speed boost to actually win us that game. He's going to go for a body press here, which I'm not too scared of. We should be able to eat this up fairly good. And then we're going to set up the uh, screen here. Let's set up the light screen here. We're going to get both of these out on the field. This is beautiful. Here goes the light screen. And then we're going to start off uh, trying to throw maybe a burn on him. We try to throw a burn on him. No, Iron Defense is going to pop out here. Like, I don't care. I'll stay in here with this Pokemon all day. I might actually swap it to my, uh, my Noivern. Do we swap it to a Noivern? We could. Because if he goes for an Iron Defense, we are special attacking. Let's just go for a Skull. Try to get that burn with the stab damage. That's exactly what we're going to do. Try to get this burn off on him. Iron Defense does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. I don't know why he's going for it. Show me the burn. Yes, sir. Let's go. Burn comes out here. We're chilling here. Iron Defense is going to pop off again. Again, I don't care. I really don't care if you're going for Iron Defense. He's trying to go for a higher body press here. But that's fine by me. Burn's going to... We can potentially take him out here with another Scald and the next Burn. So let's see. What we have to do is eat up a shot. And his Corviknight is gone. His Corviknight is gone. Scald will outspeed. We will outspeed with our Italian. Let's see how much damage we do. No, we're going to have to get one more shot off. And here comes... Ooh, the Berry. Wow. The Citrus Berry is going to pop out here. Or is this a Fig? No, I think it's a Citrus. It is a Citrus Berry. He's going to go for a Roost. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. I might swap. No, I don't want to swap it to my Noivern and get Body Press on. We're just going to keep Scalding here. With the Stab Damage here. I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. Because I can totally see us eating up a Body Press. With the Reflect Up. Because the first one did Poo Poo Damage. <laughs> Skull pops out. Plus, we're waiting on a Crit here. We can totally get a Crit very, very soon here. Now the Roost is going to pop out here. He's just going to Stall. He's just going to Skull. That's fine by me. Um, do we rock out into our Noivern here? We could. I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it here. So if we risk it and lose our Noivern, that's huge. I don't mind losing our Inteleon. That's that's the problem. I think he's trying to waste out some of the screen turns. But we're due for a crit. We're due for a crit here. I don't mind setting up more screens. Like, I don't mind setting up more screens. Like, we are just due for a crit. Do we see him going into another Roost? We're just due for a crit. How many turns are left in the screen? Let's see. Three and two. We swap. We could swap. That could be huge. It could be huge. Hmm. Let's go for it. Let's go for a swap. There's no way he's going for a body press. There's no way he's going for a body press. Let's see. Let's see what he does here. Whatever's going to pop out here. Show me the roost. Show me the roost, buddy. He does go for the roost. Beautiful. We're just going to rock out into a flamethrower here. With the screens up. I think we're chilling here. We will outspeed. Flamethrower is going to do some work. It's going to do some work. Considering it is special attacking too. It is special attacking. But it is not stab. But it should still be able to do a decent amount of damage. Is he going to swap here? I can see him potentially swapping. He does not swap. We get this free flamethrower off. Could potentially kill. Let's see how much damage it does. Does not kill. Is he going to go for the roost here? He's going to go for the body press. We should be able to eat it up and take him out next turn. Let's see. Yeah, we do eat that up. Not very effective. <laughs> You think your defense is good on us? You're done for, buddy. You were done for. Our flamethrower should be able to punk it out here. Reflects does wear off. And we're going to go into yet another flamethrower. And then we might just swap back into our Inteleon. And try to set off another reflect. 
Come on, take him out, please. Please take him out. Let's go. Take him out of here. Let's go. Let's go. See you later, Corviknight. We're sitting pretty here. We're sitting fine. I still have my Inteleon to set up more screens. My light screen wears off here, too. So depending on what Pokemon he actually has, can determine our uh, what screen we're going to go into. He's going to rock out into. He's going to rock out into Eggglaceon here. So we are totally going to be rocking out into the, uh, the Inteleon here. Let me see his other Pokemon before we actually choose what we... Now, we're just going to go into a light screen here. I can see him rocking out with that Gyarados. But I'm not too scared of that Gyarados, considering we have that Rapidash in the back end. So here we go. We're going to rock out into our Inteleon here. Because we should be able to outspeed no problem. I'm going to try to get both the screens off here. I'm, I'm hoping he's going, going for an Ice move. We can just eat it up. Could you imagine if he goes for a Freeze Try? That'd be a nice call here. Dude, are you serious, bruh? I can't stand this guy. I cannot stand this dude. This dude goes for a freeze dry. I just said it. I just said it. Could you imagine if this dude goes for a freeze dry here? But we're going to be rocking out. We're going to Dynamax our uh, Rapidash right here. We're going to Dynamax. We're going to go straight into the Dynamax. Go into a Max Knuckle. Super effective. Booster attack plus one. And then we're chilling. And we're chilling. Max Knuckle's going to pop off. Got yeet, sir. Let's see what he does. We should be able to outspeed it, but dude, this thing does go for a freeze try. What a beautiful play. I'm curious. I don't really know about freeze try. I know it's super effective the water, but is it super effective the dragon? Because is it still ice? Or is it super effective the boat? I'm not too sure. I am not too sure, but I'm actually glad we kept that Noiburn. I am glad we did kept that Noiburn. Should outspeed here. Yep, outspeed comes in here. Max Suckle, we're going to boost our attack plus one. We are going to do some damage to this thing. Yes, sir. See you later. See you later. Galarian Rapidash is a beast. You love to see. Ooh. We get that crit. And we get that crit, baby. And that attack plus one. I still think we were taken out without the crit. I really do. But like I said, when we were using the Inteleon, we are due for a crit. And there it is. Big fat crit right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's keep rocking out here. Who is his last Pokemon? It is the Gyarados. I'm going to set up this. Uh, He's going to drop our attack back down, which I don't really mind. I am going to set up this, uh, this physical terrain here. It is stab, and it is going to set up the terrain. He is going to Dynamax here. We should be able to outspeed unless he goes for a max airstream. But the first turn, we definitely should be able to outspeed. He's probably going to take a hit here, go into a max guard. That's what I think he's going to do. Probably go into a max geyser. Try to set up the rain. I wish we did still have our screens, but we still have our boy Noivern in the back. We still have our boy Noivern in the back here. We do, he does not Dyna. He does not Dyna. Wow. That's going to be game. And that is going to be game. Unless he dragon dances. Yeah, hey, I think he's trying to get a dragon dance before he goes in. Let's see it. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a dragon dance? He's gonna go for a dragon dance. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. I still see us eating up a shot. I really do see us eating up a shot from this uh, Gyarados. Let's roll into it. Yet another Max Mindstorm. This can be the game. I see him going into a Max Guard. He's probably gonna roll out into a Max Guard. Let's see what he does. If he doesn't roll out into a max guard, that's bad play call on him. That is bad play call on him because he should roll into a max guard and have my Dynamax go back down, drop it down a little bit more. But come on, baby. Come on. Show me that we eat up this shot. We have to eat up a shot. Just one. Just one. Is he going into the guard? What's he doing? What are you doing, fool? The max guard does come out here. Smart play, smart play. Okay, max Mindstorm. We have Infiltrate on our, uh, what's it called? So if he does go into a Protect... We have to eat up one shot. I can see he's eating up a shot. I think our defense is pretty steady on this thing. Let's see. Let's see our defense on this thing. Hmm. Let's see our defense. Oh, 90. What's our Noivern at? What's our Noivern at? Where's our Noivern at? 102. Our Noivern has better defense here, but I don't know if he's going to outspeed. Who is faster? Who is faster, my Noivern or my Rapidash? Let's see. So Rapidash is sitting at 167. Noivern is sitting at 184. Okay, so my Noivern is... Faster. We have to eat up a shot. Uh, Zen headbutt somebody call. Stab. Let's get after it. Let's get after it here. Won't well, eat up a shot. I can see him going into a geyser here for stab. We outspeed! We outspeed! Let's go, Rapid Dash! I was expecting him to outspeed, but let's go! Let's get it, dude. That Rapid Dash outspeeds a Dragon Dance 1 Gyarados? Bruh, let's get it. This team is awesome. Come on, baby. Did we get Master Ball? We are updating our rank right here to see how far we push along. Let's see. We should be very, very close to Master Ball tier. With this team, maybe one more win or here it is. Let's see. Oh! 
Let's go, baby. Master ball tier with this team. Let's get it, guys. That is what's up. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. We're actually going to be hopping into one more battle in the master ball tier uh, tier and try to get a win in it. Let's go, guys. Let's get it. Here we go, guys. Hopping into our first battle for Master Ball tier in this game. I didn't make Master Ball tier last season, so this is my first time in it. This guy's rocking Vaporeon, SQ, Dragapult, Titar, Charizard, and a Lapras. And a Lapras. I can see him leading that SQ. Or the Titar. I'm kind of scared. I am kind of scared. I'm definitely going to be bringing my Rapidash in the back once again. Once again, he's coming with... I'm going to need to lead a special attacker. I am going to need to lead a special attacker. Probably my Noivern. Do I lead my Noivern? I see him leading that Vaporeon or maybe that Titar or the Lapras. That is tough. That is very, very tough. Let me see my Gengar. Let me see my Gengar real quick. They bring in my, Ga my Gar here. My Gar could do some work with the Hypnosis and the Nasty Pot setup. We could. Yeah, let's lead the Gar here. No, he's choice Gar. No, we're not leading the Gar. I thought he had Trick on him. I thought he had Trick on him. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I know exactly what happened. I will tell you guys in just a minute. We're going to go Inteleon here. Rapidash. And then do we roll out with the Noivern? Uh, I don't really see my Noivern doing too, too much work. I see we go in with my Mammoth Swan. I see we go Mammoth Swan here. But what's called? I don't think he's going to bring that SQ. I really don't think he's going to bring the SQ. But I know exactly what happened with my Gengar here. I made the moveset. I put the moves on him. Made the team into a uh, rental team. And then forgot to save. So that's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. So he doesn't have trick on him. It's fine. It is fine. Let's see who he leads. He's going to lead that Lapras. That's fine by me. We're going to get this Italian off here. And we're going to uh, set up a light screen here. We're going to set up a beautiful light screen right off the bat. Yeah, I don't see him having that SQ. I don't see him having it at all. At all. No SQ for him. Because if he brings out Lapras, there's no way he's doubling up on that ice. On those ice Pokemons. But the light screen does pop off here. We are in Master Ball tier, guys. Let's go. Let's go, dude. That's hype. Free shot. Oh, you hunk of junk. That will take us out. Actually, we are light screen. We should be able to eat. Do we set up a reflect before we go? Um, what Pokemon? No, we're going to set up a uh, reflect before we actually do pop out here. I tell you, it's going to do some work before he actually leaves out here. Before he actually leaves. Let's see what happens. Freeze Dry is going to pop off here. We'll take us out. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. We have both our screens set up beautifully. And that's really all that Inteleon is here for. That is all he, he is here for. Uh, we can go into Rapid Dash, go for a low kick. That could be huge, a low kick, but uh, water is super effective to our, to our Mammoth Swine. Low kick could be huge because this is a heavy Pokemon. Or we can Dynamax and start boosting our attack. I think that is exactly what we're, we're going to do. Is we're going to go into a Dynamax straight off the bat. Where do we Sword Stance? No, we're, we're going to rock out here. We're not even going to try to set up a Sword Stance. We're going to go straight into a Max Knuckle here. Let's go attack plus one. So we, this thing is probably going to eat up uh, one shot here. And we should be able to take it out with our next Max Knuckle. So then we'd be attack plus two and potentially one tap the second Pokemon unless it goes to a Max Guard or something. Let's see, dude. This team, boy. This team. I love it. I love it. Something about it. It's just awesome. Let's see. Max Knuckle, we should outspeed here. But there's screens up here, too. Which is beautiful. Max Knuckle pops off. Yeah, yeah. Do some damage, baby. Booster attack plus one. Like I said, he's going to eat up that uh, first shot. No problem. What's he going to go into from here? What's he going to go into from here? An Ice Beam. We should be able to eat up an Ice Beam. No problem. Beautiful. And then we go into a Max Knuckle here. Or do we set up the terrain? Um, I'm going to try to boost my attack once again. I'm going to try to get my attack plus two. Here we go. Beautiful here. Then we can roll out into a Max Mindstorm. Set up the uh, terrain or a Misty terrain. With a Max Mindstorm or a Max Starfall. Doesn't matter. But dude, Rapidash. Let's go, buddy. You love that? Rapidash is just a beast. It's just a beast. Like, this is one of my favorite Pokemons I used so far. This team is up there with that Hail team. I think the Hail team was one of my favorite teams I used. And the Gen 1 team that I used in the last video, I really like that one. But this team's up there. Vaporeon does pop off here. And we are going to rock out into a Max Mindstorm. Stab Max Mindstorm with plus two attack. Beautiful. You love to see it. This can potentially take him out. Let's see how much damage it does. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You love to see it. You love to see it. Rocking out here. Um, I can't see him bringing that Dragapult. I'm surprised this thing brought the Lapras and the what's it called? And the Vaporeon. Did he bring that SQ? Did he go on all icy out? No way. Dude, don't you dare tell me he brings that SQ. We'll be in some deep trouble if he does. 
Okay, T-Tar. He brings in the T-Tar. Sandstream's gonna pop off here. I do see us outspeeding him. And we can go into a uh, play rough, which should be able to do some damage. He could be weak this policy, so we could be sitting in a tough situation here. We could be sitting in a tough situation. Do we sword stance? I'm gonna go into a play rough. I'm gonna go straight into a play rough here. Play rough, he does not Dyna. The play rough comes out here. Let's go! Let's go, baby! That is how you win in Master Ball. You just bring Rapid Ash in and you run it. And you run it. Let's go, dude. That is how it's done. We won our first battle in Master Ball tier. Ooh, we let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Got Master Ball tier with this team. This team is my favorite team I used so far on the ladder. Hands down, it's just something about it. Just something about it. I don't know if it's just because it's so appealing to the eye or just a Pokemon on this team. Like, I absolutely love that Rapidash. I love setting up with that Inteleon. I always love that Inteleon. The Noivern was lots of fun to play. as that Gengar, which I love. And the Mammoth Swine to set up rocks. And that Surfetch. We didn't play that Surfetch, but Surfetch is just such a great physical attacker. He works well with this team. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, not the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to get you guys feedback. Let me know how you did with it. If you guys got a couple wins, maybe you guys lost in a play it right or something, or if you have questions about it, let me know. But another shout out to my boy Adrian for helping me make this team. Link to all of his socials will be in the description below. Definitely check him out and all that good stuff. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.